Pokemon games have really evolved in terms of movement options over the years. In Gen 1, your character could only walk, or bike, or swim on your Pokemon once they learned Surf. Fly existed, but you couldn't actually do the flying as the player. A little animation would play, and off you'd go to your selected destination. 20 years later, we've added jumping, climbing, gliding, and actual flying to the list of actions the player can perform to traverse the world and I have taken it upon myself to test which options are valid for hatching eggs. I have in my party an egg that is very close to hatching. By saving here, I can reset this egg hatching and see the difference doing each movement tech makes. The first test is the most straightforward, walking straight till the egg hatches just outside the plaza. Second test, I ride Maridon in the same direction and have the egg hatch at the same place as before. The third test sees me gliding down the lane, and well, the egg hasn't hatched yet. Alright, I'll just do some small glides around and get back to the start space. Gliding doesn't add steps to our egg. We still have to walk down the same distance as before for it to hatch. The flying test comes next, and are we surprised it goes the same as gliding? I wasn't. I don't know about you. Gliding and flying are a bust. How about jumping? I was very careful trying not to input directionals upon landing. And yeah, it's the same result as before. Airtime and distance don't count at all. How about climbing? We're moving up and down, does that make a difference? The answer's no. Climbing doesn't add steps either. And before someone says, it's because I was climbing vertically and therefore my character's position wasn't changing, I tried horizontally too. It made no difference. Our last classic movement option is swimming, which works. You can hatch eggs on the water. They won't hatch in the water. You'll get the old school egg screen, but it's still valid. The final most ridiculous test is the synchro machine. Can you, controlling a Pokemon, hatch an egg? No. This one's sad, that'd have been so cool. But no, steps taken while controlling a Pokemon don't count. If you want an egg to hatch, you need to do it the good old-fashioned ways. Walk, bike, or surf. Aside from how you can hatch an egg, there are a few ways to make it faster. Most trainers already know about having a Pokemon with Flame Body, Magma Armor, or Steam Engine in your party to have the steps required to hatch an egg. These work in this game and are the method of hatching I used in all of the movement tasks. This game also introduced egg power, which trainers are well aware increase the rate at which eggs are received from Picnic. But they also have a perk in hatching eggs as well. They decrease the number of steps needed, although not nearly as much as the abilities do. I ran a few more tests with our same setup and Growlithe egg for the interactions of egg power and the abilities. With no perks at all, our egg takes all the way to the wall and a couple steps back to hatch. With Egg Power 1, we get about halfway to the wall. With only Egg Power 2, we get about a third of the way to the wall. I didn't test Egg Power 3, and honestly refuse to. That'd be a waste of Verma Mystica, and I simply will not stand for it. If you're wondering how I could get the Egg Powers and still say they're valid for such a test, remember that jumping, gliding, and flying don't add to your stuff. So I flew to Badali and hopped over to this vendor for Egg Power 1, and then this shop for Egg Power 2, before warping back and hopping into our starting position. Adding any of the three abilities hatches our egg in the entryway as we've seen before. Do note that having multiple Pokemon with these abilities in your party does not increase your hatch rate any more than only having one. Combining Egg Power and Flame Body on the other hand does work. If you have both Egg Power 1 and Flame Body, the egg hatches at the bottom of the ramp. If you have Egg Power 2 and Flame Body, the egg hatches halfway down the ramp, which is actually a decently good increase in hatch rate when combined. Is that difference worth 900 to 2,800 Poké Dollars? That's up to you. I'm just here to present my findings. What you do with that information is all on you. In general, I would say make sure to have one of the ability Pokémon when hatching, as it's the most useful. The egg power is a minimal boost, so not really worth for small batches of eggs but could save you a few minutes when it comes to full boxes. Regardless of what you decide, I wish each of you much luck in your egg gathering endeavors. If you would like to see more information on breeding, check the playlist on screen. That's all for now. I hope you have a lovely day.